Madame la Gouverneure Générale, l'Honorable George Fury, l'Honorable Jeff Regan, mes deux collègues leaders parlementaires, Andrew, Guy. C'est aussi un grand plaisir de savoir parmi nous euh, au moins deux anciens premiers ministres, M. Chrétien, M. Euh, Clark. Et quelle joie de voir tant de parlementaires ici ce soir. Que vous soyez député aujourd'hui ou ancien sénateur ou futur député pour nos jeunes, vous partagez tous cet engagement à représenter les Canadiens et de bâtir un pays meilleur. Et chers amis, c'est exactement ce que nous faisons dans cet édifice. Mais dans quelques semaines, les architectes et les travailleurs de construction vont prendre la place des politiciens et des journalistes dans ces couloirs. En 2019, nous reprendrons notre travail parlementaire dans l'édifice de l'Ouest. C'est un nouvel endroit magnifique, plus écologique, plus accessible et moderne, qui veillera à ce que le Parlement continue de bel et bien servir les Canadiens. But as we trade the stained glass of center block for the glass roof of West Block, I know I'm not the only one who will miss this building. Whether it was playing hide-and-seek in the stairways with my brothers as a kid, eating lunch with my dad in the parliamentary restaurant, or first taking my seat in the House of Commons 10 years ago, Centre Block has a unique place in my heart. And I'm sure everyone here has their stories. Because as soon as you step into Confederation Hall, whether it's full of students waiting to watch question period or calm and quiet after a long day of work, you know this is a special place. The walls may be bricks and stone and mortar, but this place was built by Canadians of incredible vision. People from every corner of our country who never stopped fighting for a better Canada. These halls have seen our greatest triumphs. It was here, below the Peace Tower, that our Maple Leaf flag was flown for the first time. It was under this copper roof that we brought the Charter of Rights and Freedoms to life and declared that every Canadian is free and equal. Here, that we affirmed that every Canadian has the right to get married regardless of sexual orientation. C'est ici, entre ces murs, que nous avons déclaré être un pays bilingue, un pays où le français et l'anglais sont parlés avec fierté comme langue maternelle ou comme langue seconde ou même comme troisième ou quatrième langue. C'est ici que nous avons commencé notre route sur le chemin de la réconciliation en renouvelant la relation avec les peuples autochtones. C'est ici que nous avions lancé la Commission de Vérité et Réconciliation. But these halls have borne witness to our greatest tests, too. The faces carved into these walls have watched as Canadian heroes rose in our darkest moments. Ambassador Vickers, Constable Son, Com Corporal Barrette, and the other officers who responded without hesitation on October 22nd, 2014. Together in this place, we honored Corporal Cirillo, just as we remember all who have given their lives in service. And of course, I can't be here in this hall of honor and not remember how these stones and carvings and arches watched over my father as he lay in state for two days, 18 years ago. But Parliament isn't just about moments that are recorded in the history books. Every day in the chamber down the hall and in the offices above my head, a thousand small acts come together to make something much greater. Progress for all Canadians. For the new family that's just getting started and the senior who's enjoying their well-deserved retirement. Because Parliament isn't just a building. It's the promise that each citizen will be heard, 
and that we'll work together to make a future that is brighter for our kids and grandkids. So although the foundations of these buildings were laid more than 100 years ago, each and every day we build a new parliament. And we build a new Canada where everyone has the chance to succeed and no one gets left behind. That is our collective promise to Canadians. My friends, in 10 years, when we come back to Centre Block, we'll be bringing with us more accomplishments and more history. We'll be bringing back a stronger Canada. The building may change, but the commitment and the, de the dedication of those who serve here will always remain the same. Merci beaucoup.